Good morning! I am Cyrus Tony Palacio. I am Dylan Oliver Manuel. I am George Axel and I'm really yes. I am Jim Sejuan Alpino. My name is Marie Isabel Manzano. I am Gary Nancy Pahat. I am Leslie Basilio. And we are the 8th group from Grade 11 someone here to present our study. Good morning. The title of our research is about Perception of Adelani University once a more on grade 11 Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics students Comparing Science and the Bible The reason why we pick such bold and sensitive topic is because it triggers the curiosity of whoever may read it and it is an argument debated for a long time We aim to unlock the differences, similarities, and individual in-depth information about science and the Bible and to get opinions and reactions from our respondents. The two major points is the science and the Bible. The statement of the problem is that since the existence of the Bible, religious organizations have been in conflict with science because of its contradicting stand and viewpoints on certain topics, such as the creation of the world and the creation of the man. The significance of the study is that the research seeks to find out through survey and inter interview if one overlaps the other or if both the Bible and science can be mutually beneficial to the other. We completed the research with the help of the following strategies and formats. Our, our research is a comparative research. Comparative research is an act of comparing two things which is the science and the Bible. The main aim of our research is to compare the the science in the Bible and to identify their similarities and differences. The research was mainly gathered with non-numerical data. It focused on collecting meanings, concepts, and description of things rather than their counts or measures. Data collection. Primary, primary data is a semi-structured questionnaire. Semi-structured questionnaire contains both open-ended questions and the closed-ended open question. Close-ended question. Close-ended question is answerable by yes or no, and open-ended question is requires more thought or more response from the respondents. This research study is deductive. They came up with an answer first before the data and supporting ideas. Secondary data is an article from article from the publisher of the internet or expert statement statements which are the RRL that we use to prove or to um, support our research or study. The participants were STEM students and some teachers. So good morning. I am going to present the data and the findings that we have found out in our, in our research. So for the table one, we answer with all the participants confirming that they belong to a religious organization. How much interest do they invest in science? So the table shows that um, the participants um, we got more than average, which is three, four, five. That's why, yeah. That it means that they do have interest in science, although they belong in different religious organizations. They still believe in science. Trusted and it shows in the table. Okay, so for the second table, we answer which is more reliable. So fast proven science is more is greater than the teachings written in the Bible, which uh, which represents that the participants still believe in the in science, although although this although they belong in some religious organization. And for the for the third table, what are the three biggest differences that science and the Bible have? So these are the major differences that we have found out, which are the ways of proving beliefs and principle. Beliefs being the highest, the the highest one that that the participants chooses. Chooses. And. Let's okay, so for the conclusion, we have answered all of our problems in the statement of the problems. And the, our first problem says that, does faith hinder a person's trust in science and vice versa? So faith does not hinder a person's trust in science.
and also science does not hinder pers a person's trust in faith. So that's our um, that's for the conclusion. And the, our second problem is does science and Bible have differences and similar in similarities? So science and Bible have di ma many differences, and those are ways of proving beliefs, principles, evidences, style of approach. So we have find out those results on our surveys and interviews. And the similarities, okay, so science and Bible both seek to find the truth, which, and they both present evidences, informations, lessons that can, that, that can affect a person's decision and way of living. The summary of findings can be seen in the PowerPoint presentation here. All of our respondents and interviewees belong to our religious organization. Some of them are active members. The respondents started that the interest that they invest in science is more than average, and all the interviewees confirmed that they believe in science. Majority of the respondents relies on science more than finding, finding out what's true while others relies on the Bible. Many of the interviewees answer either, saying it all depends on how a person interprets the concept. One favored sign and one favored science and one favored Bible. Many of the interviewees answer either, saying it all depends on how a person <laughs> compatibility was brought up, majority of the participants answered no. According to the interviewees, some believe that there's a possibility that the two can be compatible. Others say that they cannot be compatible, one favored neutral. According to the respondents, the top three differences of science and the Bible are beliefs, ways of proving, and principle. While for the interviewees, the top three are belief, style of approach, and evidences. And then most of the respondents said that the Bible and science has nothing similar. While well, you said that the two can be connected. A lot of the interviewees belong to a religious organization and all believes in science. But in terms of reliability and compatibility, the favors have been divided. Some of them favors the Bible, some of them uh, went along with science, and some favor neutral. And at the end of the interview, they shared their encounters. Uh, about socially, social conflicts that involves the problem between the two concepts. Question number one. We aim to unlock the differences, similarities, and individual in them, information about science and the Bible, and to get opinions and reaction for our respondents. And it can add up information and opinions in up to other things. Question number two. We observe for possible topics in order to formulate a foundation for the study. We cited theories, articles, and digitally published books that are connected to our dissertation. We also provided questionnaires and conducted in-person interviews. Question number three. The dissertation was limited to only 10 participants and only focused on grade 11 STEM students of Agaliano University. Question number four. We chose purposive something in order to achieve the completion of the study. We only needed a particular group of subjects with which are the grade 11 STEM students. We did a comparative study where we aim to compare two major concepts, science and the Bible. We've gathered theories and studies that are connected to our research, such as the theory about evolution, the Big Bang theory, skepticism, and absolutism. Also, Aristotle's a study about the unmoved mover to formulate the differences of the two major concepts. We also gathered uh, studies and concepts that can formulate the similarities of the two. So, for the question number six, differences and similarities of science and Bible were said in the earlier presentation. And for recommendation, we recommend other future researchers to widen the scope and largen the participants for the research. Question number seven. We would insert additional theories regarding science view on religion and new studies on the mutuality of the Bible and science.